the simple food for the simple dude. My name's John, and like many of you out there, I live on a pretty tight budget. And I know that a lot of people that eat on a tight budget tend to eat things off the dollar menu at Mickey D's, 30 cent burritos from the frozen food aisle at the grocery store, and it's just not healthy when you eat that kind of crap all the time. So, what I would like to do for you is show you some ways that I've discovered to eat a reasonably healthy diet without breaking the bank and without having to necessarily be a gourmet chef. So whether you're a single parent, a college student, or maybe a single guy looking to impress a chick, because we all know that chicks dig a guy that can cook, am I right? So I hope that each one of you can find something that can help you here. And it's my plan to cover a lot of different areas with these videos, but what I want to focus on today is granola. Granola is a delicious snack that's full of goodness, and there are a hundred different types of variations you can put on it to cater to your specific taste. So, we'll get started with the basics. All right, let's start with the ingredients. We have oats, brown sugar, nuts, real, yes, real maple syrup, honey, olive oil, salt, melted butter. Now the tools we will be using are the food processor, a mixing bowl with a wooden spoon, and a sheet pan. So I've got the nuts in the food processor. Now these are raw nuts. Um, you don't really need to get roasted nuts because we're going to cook them anyway. So just get the raw ones, alright? So we're going to give these a little choppy chop. Alright, we've got the nuts in the bowl here, and we're going to add the oats. Now we're going to go for about a one-to-one -one ratio of nuts to oats here. We're not going to measure it out, just kind of eyeball it there. Um, we're going to add the brown sugar. Well, looks like the brown sugar's not coming out. We'll have to get it out by hand. Now I don't really measure anything when I cook. I do it almost entirely by taste. Um, but we're just going to give a nice coating of brown sugar here. Now we're going to add the maple syrup. Again, not measuring, we're just going to give it a nice heavy drizzle. Next we're going to do the same thing with the honey. And then after the honey we're going to do the same thing again with the olive oil. Now one thing to remember when we cook with olive oil, we use regular olive oil. If you try to cook with extra virgin, then um, it's going to burn because it's got a much lower smoke point. Now we're going to add the butter. This is somewhere in the neighborhood of a quarter of a pound of butter. And then we are going to salt it. Now the key point here is to get a really nice balance of saltiness and sweetness. So after we've mixed all that up, this is what we have. So now we've got everything mixed together in the bowl. What we're going to do is just pour it onto the sheet pan here, just like that. Spread it out evenly so it all cooks as evenly as possible. And I've already got my oven set to 350. So let's go ahead and pop that in there and in a few minutes we'll check on it. It's been in the oven for about 10, somewhere in the neighborhood, 10 to 12 minutes. And um, anyway, I started to smell it, and it smells great. So what we're going to do is we're going to check it. It's not done yet. Um, it usually browns on top a little bit first. So we're going to stir it around and make sure the stuff on the bottom has a chance to brown also. So that's what we're going to do now. It's looking, it's looking great. I'm just going to stir it around. 
really brown on top, not quite so brown on the bottom yet, so that's just to help it cook more evenly. It's getting close though. It's almost there. In the restaurant business, we say it's knocking on the door. Slide this back in for another few minutes. It's been about a minute or two. I'm still smelling it, and it smells a little bit more toasty than it smelled earlier. And I just checked it, and it's ready to come out of the oven. There we go guys, that's granola. Easy peasy. Easy day, huh? Um, as I said before, you can do a lot of things with this. What I do um, for breakfast every morning, part of my breakfast is plain traditional Greek yogurt and I put berries, usually blueberries with that, and granola. So that's part of my breakfast. You can also take craisins or raisins or any other dried fruit to mix with the granola after it's cooked. Um, you can add M&M's, chocolate chips, butterscotch chips. Um, really, the possibilities are endless. It's only limited by your imagination. Um, you can play with this, see what you like, see what you don't like, and, um, well, just go try it. Take it easy, guys.